The young children are already experiencing stress, anxiety, burnout. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh You are here with us again in Who Say So? Young children must excel in every subject What societal pressures contribute to the expectation? What contributes to it would be the peer pressure Of course if you see your friend, your best friend or your classmate getting straight A's You would want that Oh I am pressured to get also the same marks Pressure on the teachers? But don't pressure on the teachers as well. So you, pu teachers. you push the pressure f from Asian parents mm -hmm. to the Asian teachers. But you know, you know how teachers um is somehow awarded or praised if all their students get A's, for example. So of course, teachers would in a way push the children to get A's so that they would have that recognition. Oh, this teacher all A's. What will be the consequences? I think if you overemphasize on the academic achievement only you may lack some social development hence we will not grow up to be a you know, holistic adult and there are research actually i read that how young children are already experiencing stress anxiety burn out oh isn't it too early that we actually put all this uh, in young children So you mentioned about holistic development. Okay, how can a focus on holistic development benefit young children's learning experiences? Because we hear this word a lot, right? Holistic development. It's best to understand that everybody's born different. So not everybody would grow up to be doctors, right? Not everybody would grow up to be engineers. Not everybody will grow up to be teachers. Hence, the realization, fine, you are not as good in academics, but he has very good social skills. So this is your pathway. There's nothing wrong with going to this pathway rather than going towards academic. I like that, that, that friendly part that you mentioned because we see this, you know, there are some children, maybe they are not yet there, mm -hmm. but they are friendly. Mm -hmm. They make friends with everyone. I think this, this should be uh, worth, you know, worth of praises from the parents, from the teachers. And this is something that success that we should look at too. But what are the, the role, uh, alternative assessment uh, methods? in understanding the children's strengths and progress. Do you know whenever you go to child's uh, report card day, you would receive a report card? That report card is not a one day filled kind of thing. It takes you weeks, months to fill it in because there's a certain development. Even when it comes to social or physical development, okay, first day of school, he may not be able to climb up the stairs, has to be guided. Middle year, he would be able to go up the stairs while holding the railing. End of the year, stairs, no hands, no railing. So those kind of developments, very small, very small is supposed to be achieved and measured as well, not just the academics. Uh, we touched on this earlier in earlier episodes to parents and educators. Uh, how can they co collaborate to create value in individual progress in children? Okay, hence just now you mentioned it doesn't have to be on paper. Okay, that's why we do have the, what do you call that, um, a report card day. So during those times, whenever parents and teachers meet, uh, there is a certain paper as reference, but there's also communication, regular communication between parents and teachers, that's very important. It's to, it's to benefit the children actually. So report card day is not about what's reported on that report card. Not just that. Not just that. that. that not the limit. So and remember, it's not just academic, please. <laughs> so that communication, the exchange of reports, mm -hmm. what's at home, what's in school, mm -hmm. that's report too. Very yes. interesting, Teacher yes. Farah. Right. So here is again for us to ponder and contemplate together, dear parents, dear everyone out there, on the expectation of this episode who says so 
that children must excel in every subject. And I think the keyword today is holistic. Holistic. See you again. And who says so? Bye.